This is the new iPhone 14 Pro and I wanted to test the new 48 megapixel camera that claims to be two times better in low light. What better way to do that than in a pitch black environment in the middle of nowhere and try to shoot the Milky Way. And of course I put it to the test against the iPhone 13 Pro, the 12 Pro, my camera which is the Canon R6, a full frame camera. I put all of them in the same settings and here are the results. I mentioned in a previous video how to shoot the Milky Way with your phone, Android or iOS. But long story short, you need a day where there is no moon which is the new moon day. You can look it up when will it be. You need a place where there is no light pollution or light leaks whatsoever. You also need to download an app called Sky View. You can look up in it the date and the time and know exactly when and where the Milky Way will be shown in the sky. And lastly, we need a tripod. Now we're done with all of that. We're at the location. Let's get shooting. You put the phone on the tripod. You point it at the Milky Way where it should be. FYI, you can see the Milky Way with your own eyes. It's not as shown in photos, of course, but you kind of can see a little bit of haze or a dark cloud in the sky. You point your phone there. You tap on night mode. At first, it's going to show 10 seconds max only. You keep the phone steady for a little bit and then it's going to show 30 seconds. Of course, the more you keep the phone shooting, the more light it's gonna get in the brighter the photo will be but I like to shoot for only 15 seconds because at 15 seconds we can see the stars as dots but if we keep it for more than that we'll start to see some star trails personally I like to see the stars as dots so I keep it only at 15 seconds some might keep it for 30 seconds and not really notice the small lines if you don't you can keep it for 30 seconds and have a brighter photo and by the way try to tap on your phone very carefully so you don't ruin the photo and you can use Apple Pro Raw to get a lot more details in the editing part but both photos actually were really good I didn't see much of a difference. What I noticed with the iPhone 14 Pro that I can see the Milky Way from the screen before even shooting. It can even notice that there's a person there and put a square around the face. I mean we were in a pitch black place. No lights. I don't know how the phone was able to see all of that. I was barely seeing anything. We took the photos with the 14 and the 13 and the 12 and even the camera and here are the results. I noticed that the colors between the 13 and the 14 are different this year. The photos that came out of the 14 Pro are a bit more purple-ish. But with the 13 Pro and the 12 Pro, they were more greenish. Different sensor, different ways of processing, I don't know. But after editing these photos and putting them side by side, the 14 Pro is noticeably better than the 13 Pro and way better than the 12 Pro. And comparing it to the camera, well, I think it wasn't that fair of a comparison because I put the camera to the same settings as the phone, so I didn't give it the full potential. But of course, we had way more details in the camera and a lot less noise than the iPhone 14 Pro. There is no way of comparison between the two, but it was really nice to see that the 14 Pro has come so far that it's able to shoot the Milky Way with all these details and was captured on a very small camera. I was really blown away of the performance of the iPhone 14 Pro compared to last year and the year before and even compared to the camera itself. But is it a solid reason to get the 14 Pro over the 13 Pro for example? Of course not. Both got super great shots. Both are really great in low light. Both have incredible videos and photos. Yes, the 14 is slightly better, but the real jump was from the 12 to the 14. I'll be making more videos about the iPhone 14 Pro and the 13 Pro and the 12 Pro very soon. So if you're interested in that, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and don't forget that life is all about love and dance. See you.